This is Apple's latest Series 7 Apple Watch. And aside from being 30% faster when charging compared to the previous generation Apple Watch, a larger display which edge visibility, new color choices, and much brighter always on display, there's really much more than just that. So if you just picked up a Series 7 Apple Watch and want to find out some awesome hidden features and some cool tips and tricks, I'm going to go ahead and run you through my top 20 hidden features that the Series 7 has. And you can find some of these features even on some older Apple Watches. So if you like to follow, you could easily do so. Let's go ahead and get started. Starting off with one of the exclusive features only available for the Series 7 as access to the keyboard. Whenever you have to type something up, just swipe from the bottom like so. You have the ability to switch between scribbles and keyboard. And yes, you can switch between the number of row if you need to with the icons. But if you pay attention to your paired phone, you may have noticed you actually can have access to the keyboard on the keyboard on your iPhone to type up something on the Apple Watch by just going into the notification tab as you just saw. When locating your devices like your iPhone, utilizing your Apple Watch, you can just bring up control center, tap the little pin icon, this will play a sound on your iPhone, and if you press and hold, this will also toggle the iPhone flash. You can do this vice versa too if you actually use Siri or use to find my app and request or look for the Siri 7 Apple Watch, you can actually allow it to flash the green LED on the heart rate sensor so you can locate it faster and it also plays sound. Now when washing your hands, there is a 20 second timer you can enable where your Apple Watch would automatically detect and identify that you're washing your hands based off the sound and motion. If you like to enable this feature, just simply go into your Apple Watch settings, scroll all the way down where you see the hand wash section, click on this and just enable it. Now next time when you wash your hand, a 20 second timer will start up and will actually congratulate you. Now the app view can be kind of cool. You could reorganize it and all that stuff, but sometimes you may have a hard time locating a certain app. If you do, you can always press and hold on the blank icon, the space gap between some of these apps. It will pop up this screen, switch to the list view, and everything is now alphabetically categorized so you can locate your apps much faster if you needed. Now if you find yourself in the center mark, you have access to theater mode. What theater mode basically does, it will switch your device to silent mode so you still feel haptic feedback of notifications that come in. But in addition to that, if you rotate the digital crown, you can actually take peaks of the Apple Watch displays. And it slowly illuminates as you see so it doesn't disturb others around. And yes, if you have always on display enabled, this will turn that off so it doesn't bug or disturb anyone around you. Now you can always go ahead and enable chimes. When chimes is enabled like this, basically what this allows the Apple Watch to do is every hour, like at 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and etc., you're going to receive a haptic feedback, a unique haptic feedback, letting you know that it's the next hour. So you can keep track of your day. You can switch this to a 30 minute uh, duration if you want to be notified every 30 minutes. Think of this like a grandfather clock or a church bell. I personally find this feature extremely useful as it allows me to always stay track and not lose track of time. Now fault detection is disabled by default unless you're over the age of 65. I believe that's the number. I have the correct number right there in text. If you'd like to go ahead and enable this feature just for the peace of mind, simply just go into your Apple Watch setting, go into SOS, and here you'll be able to see fault detection enable, walk through a screen process, and there you go. And a quick rundown of what fall detection does, let's say for example, you happen to accidentally fail, you're unconscious, you're not moving, your Apple Watch will actually send a haptic feedback to your wrist, and it will get stronger and louder, and if you still don't respond within a certain time frame, your Apple Watch will automatically get a hold of your emergency contact, so make sure you have that set up, and will send a pin location where they could find you, and your Apple Watch will also get a hold of emergency dispatchers, in case worse comes to worse. And if you're concerned about false alarms, it's actually extremely accurate. You'll be surprised. Now, if, in case you want to, your Apple Watch can actually take screenshots by simply holding down the power button and digital crown. It'll capture a screenshot, but if this is enabled and you want to find out how to disable this, simply just go into your Apple Watch settings, go in general, go in screenshot, and here you go. You can disable or enable. Handoff is a feature unique to the Apple Watches. Open up the multitask manager. On the very bottom, you'll see Apple Watch. Click on here, it will quickly take you to that message where you last left off on the Apple Watch. And if you don't see this, it might be disabled on the Apple Watch. To enable this, go to Settings, General, scroll down where you see Handoff, enable it right here. Now if you pick up a call on the Apple Watch, you want to transfer that call to the iPhone without hanging up, you can always just press here 
and you have the ability to transfer or switch the call from the Apple Watch to your iPhone. And you can also do a vice versa too. Just go here and there, it's back on the Apple Watch. If you need to go on a website, you could easily verbally just request Siri to go to that website and just follow by the .com. So you can say Instagram.com. Siri can now use WebKit to actually specifically look for those type of websites. And yes, you can also use Google. Now with the auto workout detection feature enabled, sometimes when you forget to start a workout, and if it actually gives you a haptic feedback to record this workout, you can actually tap right here to actually make sure everything seems right, like the duration and stuff like that. Then you can start tracking if you want. Now when starting a workout, you can bypass the 3 second timer by simply tapping on the 3 second timer and it just bypasses it just like so. Now double tapping the digital crown will actually switch between the previously open app and vice versa. And if you tap the power button once, this will activate app switcher. You can actually substitute app switcher to be your favorite apps instead. So if you like to go ahead and do this, go on your iPhone, scroll down into docs, and here you can actually select recent or favorites and you can add them and remove them and reorganize them just like so. When taking an ECG, you can actually export it into a PDF on your iPhone. You may also track your blood oxygen sensor and your hand washing database. Then if you launch the camera app, this will actually launch the camera app on your iPhone and you can view the Apple Watch screen as the viewfinder and some people actually loop their iPhone like this so they can actually utilize that back camera when taking vlogs and such. Or you may just be trying to take a group photo with friends, but you want to utilize the best camera on the iPhone, not the front facing one. Now if you have a pin code on your Apple Watch, you could actually use your iPhone to actually unlock it. So as long as you put the Apple Watch on, if you go into the Apple Watch settings on your main device on your iPhone, go into the passcode section and just make sure to enable unlock with iPhone. Now that feature is enabled. And if you want to use your Apple Watch to unlock your iPhone, you can actually do that too when you're wearing a face mask. To enable this on your iPhone, go into its iPhone settings, scroll down to face ID and passcode, enter your passcode, scroll down to the section where it says unlock with Apple Watch, enable the Apple Watch you have on, turn on. Now, when you're wearing your face mask, your Apple Watch will actually unlock your iPhone and you'll also be indicated that you have the ability to lock your device in case it does get accidentally falsely unlocked by somebody else and you're within range, you can lock your phone this way. And then if you want your Apple Watch to unlock your Mac computer, you can also do the exact same thing by going into the PC preference or Mac preference, I should say, I'm sorry. System preferences, go into security and privacy. It's gonna ask you for your password for that device. Then just check mark the Apple Watch. And now next time when you unlock your Apple Watch, it will unlock with your Apple Watch so long as you're nearby. Now if you wish your Apple Watch to verbally read out loud the time with two fingers, PM. just tap and hold anywhere on the display. Siri will actually read out loud the time. And if you have a Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse voice, it will actually it's read out loud the time in that character's voice. Now if you wish to switch the orientation of the Apple Watch, and this can be beneficial for not just being left or right handed, but let's say for example I'm left handed and I want this digital crown button to be on this side so I don't risk damaging anything you can always just switch the orientation just like so just swap the band and then place it back on your wrist and now the digital crowns on this side there's pros and cons to each of these sides having all these buttons over here is less likely to break or damage anything so if you bump to a wall you're not going to harm your apple watch but you can also use this in case you happen to be right-handed and you find this to be more comfortable so personal preference but you have access to the orientation right here as you saw all in all, there you guys have it. Those are my personal top 20 awesome features and some cool tips and tricks you could do on the Series 7 Apple Watch. If you got some good useful information out of the video, you know what to do. Greatly appreciate if you can actually leave this video a like. Those help me out a lot. And get subscribed, especially if you enjoy a lot of tech videos just like this. For some awesome accessories for the Apple Watch, you can always click on this video over here as so I recently cover the best trendy accessories right now available for the Series 7 Apple Watch, even older. And then the video next to that one, that's just a video YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.